All right, Chet, who do you have? Khabib Nurmagomedov or Henry Cejudo. Remember, it's legendary AI versus legendary AI. So make your predictions now. Coming up next, it is a featherweight matchup between Henry Cejudo and Khabib Nurmagomedov. I'm just going to take one real quick. Skip through. Habib. Halabib. Halabib is coming through, you cocksuckers. Our tail of the take now for this featherweight fight. So. Alright, go back here and let them fight. And I'm going to make myself a coffee, guys. I'll be right back. Success against him. Trying to spin to the back. All right, the first round is underway here. You gotta watch out for this fighter's powerful overhand punches can do damage from both sides. And even when fighters know what's coming, oftentimes they are unable to stop. Oh, that hammer fist got him. Excellent movement here on the ground. Showing some good defense here on the ground by controlling that arm. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Cejudo. Neither fighter's really doing anything. Reversal here, and in the full guard. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom. Tried to move from half guard in his side control, denied. He's losing it now though, he's gotta turn and get his weight on him. He does not really have much weight on him here. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Now connects with a right. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. French now. The Olympic gold medalist, Cejudo, gets to the one hooks here on the French. Normally now he'll try to change levels and go for a takedown. Tags him with the left. He postures into place. but he's actually doing some pretty effective work. Joe lands a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done there by Nurmago Meta. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Oh, veteran stuff there. He's almost under and now he's got the under. Let's take a look at some of the action in that round here. Here's a nasty ground. Brittany Palmer in the building tonight. Here on the ground, staying busy. He lands a 
huge elbow to the head. Oh, nice combination of ground and pound here by Navago Meta. Huge elbow, there, elbow to the head. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Now he's got a choke here. From the north-south position to get the choke, what he wants to do is get his arm under the back of the neck. Once he's got the arm under the back of the neck, locking it in place, he needs to get his left hand and his right hand together. So he has to move the other arm out of the way. Oh and my God. God. I told you, cocksuckers. Call a beep. It's just a different animal. Just choke that motherfucker. Told you. Throw him in there against Connor. He's gonna choke him as well. He's a monster. Call a beep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out. And here's the end. We get the official decision with Bruce Buff. All right, what's the next fight? Barboza or Jose Aldo? How about that one? Coming up next, we get to a featherweight tilt between Edson Barboza and Jose Aldo. Who you guys have? Barboza or Aldo? Legendary AI against Legendary AI. Skip through, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. All right, less chance, less chance. Predictions. Aldo, Aldo, viewer sub. <laughs> Barboza, Barboza. Flying triangle. All right, let's go. Side leg kick. Oh, he connects there. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Oh, nice check on the leg kick off right there. A straight left. You got to be careful when you throw the same technique over and over and over again. Oh, that hook has been there all night. There's another one by Belbo. Here's a jab. Jabs off the left. And oh! he's, had it. he's in a lot of trouble.
just when his opponent maybe was trying to turn the page to the next round, he gets caught with that huge shot, goes down, and the referee wisely jumps in to stop the fight. So that'll do it. Beautiful technique there on the fight ending blow, and maybe he caught his opponent. Jeremy Stevens against Rafael Dos Nachos, aka Dos Anjos, aka a Iron Jaw. Between Jeremy Phil Heathen Stevens and Rafael Dos Anjos. Who you guys have? Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for Stevens this or RDA? Dos Anjos is two years. Stevens by Apocalypse from Hell. Stevens, RDA. Stevens, RDA. Alright, very mixed. Let's go. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, it's a building rich in its fight history and tradition here at Madison Square Garden. I don't have, like, I think Max Holloway's gonna win the Ortega fight. I just don't see anything that Ortega does. Much better. Like it, it's grappling is more class, obviously, but I don't see it being so superior that Max Holloway will get himself caught in a guillotine or triangle or anything. And striking, even though he has power, he's improving a lot. Ortega is. I don't think he will have a lot of. I don't think it will be a big threat to. Holloway really so I'm predicting Holloway in that one probably decision though I don't know I don't know still have yet to see Ortega in the fourth round I believe right he never was there in championship rounds I don't know I'm not quite sure but I think he didn't tonight and that is what led to this stoppage victory yeah that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there joe landed flush and i'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming so back to the drawing board for him but for the winner this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight great angle here crank right on the jaw she bruce buffer has your official got him and straight ahead, we'll get to a featherweight matchup between Conor McGregor and Demetrius Johnson. Our tail of the tape now for this featherweight fight. Johnson is two...
about that shin. Oh, stunning jab. TKO early in the first round. Big shots landed. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing that again. Exciting flurry at the end of this fight. It was the one big strike that started it all, dropped the opponent, led to that knockdown, and ultimately created the opening to jump in and force the stoppage. Referee made the right call stepping in. Oh, snap. From another look. It's over. Right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer to wrap it with the official. So who do we have now? So decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine. There is no way. He predicted all four right so far. Khabib or Aldo? Oh, that fight almost happened, right? Aldo was about to jump in there for someone. For Ferguson or some shit. For like when was that? But they were in talks. But Khabib didn't want to take it because he didn't he didn't see any anything uh anything he could really win from beating a featherweight. The size of Aldo. With Max Holloway, that's a difference, he thinks. Coming up next we get to Aldo take down matchup. defense too much. Khabib versus Max almost have it, yeah. Jose Aldo. Or tail the Ready fight. Oh yeah, RDA against Connor, true. On the other side of the bracket. All right, chat. Aldo or Khabib? Who do you have? Serpent has Khabib by sub. Webber has Khabib. Barto thinks Aldo's takedown defense will be too much. BJJ Black. What's up, my man? Khabib the best. Duzu as Aldo. All right, let's see. Well, Suspense has Khabib. Let's watch. I'll be right back. He laid him out stiff, and he missed the opportunity to jump on him. There was bam in front kicks for a second. Ooh. Right overhand lead. Lead hook to the body. Look nice there. This winning choke. He subbed. He subbed Sahudo with it as well. Now from here he wants to Sneaky rush. Oh, he's, his arm is already going stiff. Ref, check on the arm. Oh, oh, he got out. He has his back now. Oh, gets gets the health card. Side saddle, Aldo's about to do some work and could be from the top. Denying him, draining that stamina. Oh, denied it as well. He has no stamina. Go from out. What do you do? Oh, he goes for a choke. He goes for a choke. 
Oh, it looks tight. Tight. Oh, is he about to make a tap? He's gonna go to sleep. Is he gonna go to sleep? He got it. No one saw that coming. The round was about to end. Sunk in the submission and got the victory. Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he was gonna stop at nothing to lead the judges out of this one here tonight. He was focused on. That's a good fight. Khabib came out swinging those crazy boxing combos, one after another, with pretty precise. If someone gets that down and goes for them on crazy like that in, uh, in any online mode, good luck beating that guy. One and four, four and one. Tilt between Rafael Dos Anjos and Conor McGregor. Conor's first shot at the two world, well, at the two world, god damn it, two weight world title championship status. Who do you who do you guys have? RDA or McGregor? McGregor finished DJ pretty quickly, so he's fresh. RDA also won in the first round. He's so fresh. Alright, 50-50. Oh, look, it's Connor. Yeah, we might. Barto has Connor. Wetbread has RDA. Scope, Connor. Suspense, Connor. Serpent goes with RDA by submission. Scope, thanks for the follow. Oh! I just ate that knee. Try to front kick. AI is using a lot of front kicks, dude. Oh, that knee again. This time, ripped the body. <laughs> Sinking those toes into his guts. A little passive, but beautiful slip. Did not let himself get hit by that overhand. Ed covers Alvarez. Now we can do that another time. Got to keep that on my mind. He has him against the cage. Tries to go for over under, but Connor. He's been working. He's been working uh, intensively in the SBG. Dublin gym on those cage denials it looks like oh he was going for a cross and got caught with a stationary roundhouse skip kick she got slapped with his shin Connor tries to counter, but he's out of distance. And he's looking for that left punch coming and block. Now he goes for the single leg. Interesting. Ah, you stream real quick. If it's messing up like this. Body knee. Ducked under that overhand. Blocked the uppercut. This time he got caught and countered. Goes for another single leg and gets it. Gets it this time. Looks like he's gonna 
about to go to the second round. Yeah, I noticed it. I noticed it. Thanks. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. Who did? Aldo? Aldo is young though. He's not even 30 yet. Is he 30 already? Spencer, do you know? Yeah, exactly. He's still young. And sometimes, you know, there's there's a difference in between being like simply biological old and being fighting old. You know, your fighting age. Since like how how early did you start getting hit to the head on a regular basis? Like when was your first sparring sessions? And then how many sparring sessions a week did you have for how many years? And you know that messes with your brain. If you get hit in the gym way more often than in fights, uh, usually that is for the most fighters. Ooh. No, Aldo? 34? He's younger than that. Oh, that boxing? I bet his hands are even more lethal now. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, like I was about to say, like, look at Joel. He started with MMA in this, like, middle 30s? Or his early... 30s or something and he can take shots oh you got him with the two gator RDA how about that use great technique to get the choke and get the win well you can tell he has been working hard on his submissions in his training camp that was a near perfect setup on that choke sunk it in deep and the opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep we sent it inside the octagon to bruce buffer for the official decision uh, you called it submission right Ladies you called it submission yes there is an xbox what's up freestyler all right RDA against Jose Aldo. Chat, who do you have? You have plenty of time to think about this one because I'm really sure it's roll out. So I need to leave the mic for a second again. I'll be right back, guys. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender, making his walk to the octagon for this UFC featherweight championship opportunity. It's been a long time coming. No denying he is worthy of this chance, and he believes he's the best featherweight in the world. His opportunity to prove it is now just a few short moments away. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. Well, Joe Rogan, this man has goals well beyond being the UFC featherweight champion of the world. That is the title that accompanies him as he makes the walk here tonight. He has won this belt. He has defended it in the past. But he wants to be the greatest featherweight of all time. And to do that, you need more title defenses, more dominant performances, more finishes. He wants to be mentioned with the Hall of Fame types. In order to do that tonight, absolutely one he's got ahead. The champion is in focus, he is in his prime, he's making his way towards the cage, his training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular, he believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Our tale of the day for this featherweight championship fight. Dos Anjos is two years the elder, he is one inch taller, the reach is identical. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. 
Hopkins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Third round for the undisputed UFC heavyweight championship of the world. All right, this is for the championship bout. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch this up. has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down go right first, now. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go. It doesn't get much bigger than this. Five rounds if needed for the UFC featherweight championship of the world. Dosan Joseph's shot is blocked. Offensive punch there by Alvin. Oh, working the inside of that leg. Beautiful, straight counter. Aldo gets caught with that punch. Ooh, blocks the shot. Those punches are very hard. Back to the head there, Joe. He's going to have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Got to get his head off the center line. That one hurt. Aldo's hook to the body was blocked. Right idea, wrong execution. Landed that one. Two minutes. Oh my god, Aldo, how are you not jumping on that spinning wheel kick? What are they doing? I swear to the AI lag sometimes. Like that guy was laying there. There to be finished. Aldo. Aldo definitely beating him up right now. Hope it doesn't cost him. Because he's losing stamina. We're going to see RDA come back. Front, dodge that front kick again. Oh! He rocks it with an overhead while he's going for a low kick. Oh! Oh! Rocked him with the right hook. Jumped up. Superman punched him. And finished it while he was falling with a lead hook. Jose Aldo, tournament winner. What's up? Boom. Kaboosh. That's about as good a one strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. Here we see it again. Boom. Boom. And there is the UFC featherweight champion. Near perfect performance tonight. It ends with a knockout victory. You can be sure. Oh, BJJ Black. Brazil won. Hope you're happy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop for this contest at three minutes, forty-nine seconds of the very wheat bread, two and five. Hey, still, still went in there, predicted every single match. Yes, I think UFC Four definitely needs in Pride mode. Also, Pride mode online with separate uh, with separate leaderboards and rules. They'll be sick and a proper Pride roster. But that might take some, you know, license work. Congratulations to the still undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, John Anik, for folks' sake. Never stops talking.